My name is Lewis. Welcome to Small Beginnings Episode 1, where today we're going to do a DIY cinemount like this or like this. This is the basic lens adapter case made from a case and a lens. And this is the full version of the cinemount where we have lens, handle for stabilization, tripod mount, and cold shoe adapter. I'm not going to keep teasing you guys. But let's go right into this build. So basically what you're gonna need for the basic case of this build is a, a tele or wide angle converter lens, which could roughly run you about $15 or more, depending on how good you want the glass to be. They could run anywhere from 15 to 100 or even more. A smartphone case or tablet case, which has a flat back sandpaper, a file or squirt tool, a drill and bits, epoxy, and that'll be all. To start the build, you're gonna need to take your teleconverter lens and take the back cover off, the back lens cap off. Then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna get a drill with your biggest bit that you have, and you're gonna bore out the center, especially if you're working with a 52 millimeter thread like I have. Um, for this build, you can use any 20, uh, 37, you can use any. Just keep in mind that you will have to work around to, bore, to make a hole for the lens and the flash if you want, if needed, or you could just work around the lens. So once you have drilled out the center of the lens cap, you're gonna wanna take your file and start working and shaping out the lens cap to accommodate the flash on your camera. And you could do this by simply having the phone or tablet in the case and placing the cap onto the case and just configuring it as you go. So where needed, just use the file to shape out the lens cap. Keep it in mind that the center of the lens cap should line up with the center of the phone or tablet's camera. And when you're done with that, now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna get the lens cap, you're gonna file down the borders on the rear of the cap so that the borders are now gonna be even with the surface of the lens cap itself. Then you're gonna get your sandpaper and, and sand the surface of the lens cap to prepare it to receive the epoxy. This sandpaper should be rough or coarse. Then you're gonna take the same sandpaper, coarse sandpaper, and you're gonna sand off the paint from your tablet case or phone case around where this lens cap is gonna be placed so that you can epoxy it later on. Next step is to place the cap down on a wood surface uh, with a piece of cardboard in between and you're going to get a drill with a small bit and around the edges you're going to uh, between the end of the cap and the, and the hole that you made with the drill and you're going to make small holes in between so that you could prepare it so that the epoxy could go through and act like it's making a nail through the cap. Please be gentle with the drill and the cap itself when applying pressure so that you don't break it, especially if it's plastic. And it should look something like this. Place the lens cap onto your case, center it, and trace the outline of the circumference of that lens cap onto your phone or tablet case. Then drill a few holes on the phone case within the lines like you did with the lens cap. Mix and paste epoxy onto the lens cap, applying a thin layer to both the case and the cap and especially covering the holes that were drilled on both. Quickly screw the lens on the cap then place and center the lens cap with the case making sure that the center of the lens cap lands exactly where the center of the camera is and then pressing gently to ensure that the epoxy goes through the holes on both the cap and phone or tablet case. Quickly rub off epoxy from the inside of the phone or tablet case, making it even with the surface because if not, it will scratch your tablet in the future. Place down and let dry overnight. You now have your basic lens adapter case and it's ready for use with any tripod mount that can be purchased for your phone or tablet apart. 
and now it, you could use any macro close-up uh, filter lens kit any filter of that millimeter thread can be placed onto this phone or tablet case by just simply screwing it on and you have now a basic cinemount for your phone and this is basically what it would look like and these two photos you'll see that uh, you'll see the regular crop factor 1x and then you're gonna see it at, at four times its zoom without the lens adapter and with now for the handle which I call the stabilizing tripod mount with cold shoe adapter for this second part what you're gonna need now is a wood doll a miter saw or a miter saw I don't I don't know how to pronounce this forgive me I'm not a shop person I had to take uh, my wood doll personally to my uncle's shop and have him cut it down for me and do this so this is why I separated the, the, the two subjects a drill epoxy a small wood screw a universal cold shoe adapter and an insert nut a one quarter 20 insert nut at which you can find in Home Depot along with the wood doll first you're gonna take the wood doll you're gonna measure the height of your case then you're gonna use the middle saw and cut the wood doll either in half or three quarters depending what's more comfortable with you I suggest that you uh, look at the phone case and how would the curvature of the handle in your hand feels so you know where to cut if you like it feeling smaller because you might have a small hand or bigger then I suggest if for a bigger hand you would cut at three-thirds or if for a smaller hand at half because you need to leave enough space to drill a I believe it was a 5 16th uh, drill bit for the quarter inch, quarter inch insert nut which will act as your tripod mount once the wood doll is cut in half and then cut to the height of your phone case you're going to place the handle on the case and mark the area where the speaker is because you're going to have to bore out on the flat end of the handle once it's cut and you're going to make like a hole so that the speaker could breathe and then at the edge you're going to cut it out in accordance to where you see your speaker uh vent on the case is at this way you can accommodate the sound when you play back stuff and you won't have to take apart the phone case just to listen to the phone because it'll be covered otherwise once done drill small holes in various spots on the flat side of the cut doll as you see in this diagram i matched up a drill bit to the insert nut and then i drilled where my tripod mount would go on the wood doll i marked and then drilled the hole and then screw the insert nut in the next step i get the universal cold shoe the screw and i drilled a small hole on the opposite end of the doll and then screwed the cold shoe onto the doll so that i can attach shotgun microphone i could put a handle on it for low angle shots or i can also put a light if needed for video now we'll drill similar holes onto the case with the drill small small holes to prepare for the epoxy for the epoxy so then you're gonna mix your epoxy and place it around the flat end of the wood doll where you made the little holes covering all the little holes and the edges and then you're gonna place it onto the case and you're gonna squeeze lightly rubbing off excess from the inside of the cover flattening out the surface so that it doesn't cause any damage to your phone in the future and my my next suggestion is that you could always put a thin layer of uh, tape on the inside where the holes are so that it won't scratch your case over the where the epoxy comes out just to make sure then you just set it aside and let it dry overnight and now you have a complete tripod mount cold shoe adapter stabilized DIY cinemount ready for your use and before I go any further now I'm gonna have a word for my sponsor and then some test footage and yes my sponsor is very spiritual in nature which is basically salvation through Jesus Christ and as it is written in the word if you believe in your hearts and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and that he was raised on the third day and he was resurrected and is, he was ascended to heaven and now sits at the right hand of the father and if you confess this you shall be saved and now for some test footage as you will see in this test footage 
that I'm gonna leave here plain. You're gonna, I'm gonna show you some some pans. They aren't so perfect because I'm not used to um, using a, a phone for video, which is something that I'm gonna be practicing with. I'm more with camcorders, a 3Ti or a D5000. Uh, but here's some footage so you can see the difference. And I would like to note that I've noticed in this footage that um, in some cases, the tele the teleconverter lens will actually sharpen up the images some and help give some improvement depending on the shots it's all going to be entirely up to you and and how you use this case but i would love to hear from you guys so i'm going to leave you with this test footage and then footage of ants using the vivitar close-up macro filters in order to capture the can the ants close up eating potato chips because they would not cooperate with me so i had to pay them in and basically fried chips so that they can work and I can get my footage. 